Hello guys, it's another bright morning that we are in the villa and we have got some things going on and I would like to show you actually what we are undertaking now. As you can see, we are at the compound here and I like to show you the progress of the works where we have reached and what we are concluding to do as from now and going on. Welcome so much, you as my family of the YouTube. I welcome you so much in my channel so that you will be able to see the progress that we are undergoing now here from now until in the evening to brief you everything how it is going around the compound so that you maybe get informed. So keep up in touch with me so that you get, get more solid things that are the progressive works going on here. Kindly subscribe, give comments and opinions on how you feel that anything that we do should be done. Welcome so much. Hello guys, as I told you, I'm going to bring the guy, the king to the guy who is the expert behind fish farming. So here is life and I would like to have an interview with him so that we may see what the boss actually wants. Is it practicable or is something that is impossible? So this guy is the expert who has advised my boss on the fish ponding farming. So here he is, let him introduce himself so that we will have to hear from him what he has to say. Welcome. Hi guys, welcome. It's Kintu. Uh, good morning, wherever you are, you are just viewing us direct here. And to uh, my engineer here, who is a structural engineer here, who is I am Maro engineer. I am, my name is Ait Skintu. You can just check on me on YouTube channel. Uh, I'm here at Maro Asvira, whereby I am here to direct on how the fish pond or the aquaculture farming will be done or practiced in this villa here, whereby. I am here standing whereby this is the actual pond as we are just uh, as you can just view it yeah. uh, towards that direction the topography it's yeah. just slanting towards this area yeah. uh, here we have uh, three fish ponds here yeah. whereby it's just segmented into three yeah. whereby we have the one which is at the far end there yeah show then, my people uh, the one that at the far end how it appears Yes. So the first one is going to reach where? Uh, the first one is going to reach at this point here. Yeah. And the second one above? This is the first one here. Yeah. What's the slanting point? Okay. And the, 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 the slanting point will just give us the direction. Okay. Uh, we will have the outlet from the upper one. Yeah. What's the downer ones. Yeah. But we have the second one at the upper side. Yeah. Then the third one at the uh, the other side of this villa. Okay, what Whereby, do you think about this fish farming? Because me myself, I was constructing this wall yes. in order to put some paving around the house. Yes. But the boss came up with the idea that he needs a fish bone. Uh, one of the idea, yeah. uh, you know, as the environment, we as the ecosystem, yeah. uh, we need the green, the green, the green energy. We need uh, something like a. Uh, we need the deco yeah. around, so we will just uh, put here some fish pond, yeah. so as we can just attract more, more uh, people who need some uh, to see on how agriculture is on practice yeah. or how how the agri business yeah. and uh, even uh, the aqua farming. Yeah. So the people who are just interested in fish farming or they just have the, an interest in uh, just seeing on how uh, the fish are just uh, reared here. Yeah. Uh, you can just get an opportunity to see and even you can just go into details and know the feeds that they are just fed so as to come up with a, a product that's just a, a good product here it's like an deco and even it's just food for the people who are just around the ecosystem let me ask you a question yes do you think the 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 wallings we have done and the structures we have done will be able to hold the waters and give an environment of fish farming in this place yes it will yeah. uh, the point we take a, a notice is uh, this perimeter wall, we just restrain water not to go to the other part, whereby it's just a pavement of the house, yeah. whereby it will just be plastered by uh, a waterproof yeah. so as to not leak water to the other part. And this other 
perimeter wall here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It has some pillars here. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, you yeah, you can just see them. The yeah, they are just uh, in a short distance, short distance. Yeah. So as it can just get that uh, uh, the quantity or the the force that water has, yeah. it will just keep hold it at the one place so as we cannot lose it. Okay. Uh, at the far end there, we will have two blocks uh, whereby it's a construction of two blocks. He's the talking of the whereby, other side, yeah. So yeah. it will be two blocks at the far corner. Yeah. Yeah. So as uh, we can just restrain that water not to go or not to break the walls. Okay. So we have to make it so stronger. Uh, as you can see, the topography is just slanting. Yeah. Uh, that's why we have just segmented it into three. Okay. Whereby if we rely on water coming from the upwards, yeah. we will have a high feet level at this far end yeah. whereby it will just be deep and uh, the security uh, around it will be no more because uh, it's just risky in terms of the deepness we want a fish pond that's just 0.9 to 1.2 meters deep whereby it just hold uh, a good good and awesome amount of uh, fish so as we can just there and get some good product from it but my idea was not to put the walls to yes. get the fish bones being put here. So what are you of if you were to advise my boss just to dig a trench around yes. and then secure his fish? Don't you think it was to do better than putting the walls aside? It could do better because this is more of a swimming pool. Only the difference <laughs> is that at the below yes. it is so muddy. Yes. So what do you think about the walling in fish farming and about the creating them in Pure natural mud, as the, the ones you normally rear. As you can see, uh, the idea of us not using uh, the the mud at this point and there at the point mud, yeah. it's because uh, this area is just slanting. The force of water, whereby it will just be holded at this pond here, yeah. will be so greater than the, the the walls that will be just put of mud the okay. other side. So we restrain it using these blocks yeah. or uh, the bricks, yeah. so as it will be just strong to hold that water inside here. Okay. Because uh, if that water can just break out, yeah. it will bring so harm than the, the the impact that's positive impact to us. Okay. So we have to restrain it with some uh, uh, perimeter walls. Yeah. So, but downwards we shall have the muddy yeah. it will not be just constructed with any cement yeah. uh, so as we retain that temperature of water okay. whereby if we can just uh, use these walls downwards and um, uh, the pavement are just there yeah. we will create some uh, uh, degrees of water whereby we will have so much decrease in water whereby it will just be one percent or uh, to six percent in water whereby the good uh, water will be just uh, from zero to four uh, degrees in celsius okay so i am constructing but i'm not i'm not in a position to determine whether the water you have seen from the other area oozing coming out whether it will be enough to sustain the fish bond here at this place what do you advise as an expert what will you advise my boss to do in terms of water so that water will be filling this place will be full of water what do you advise in case in case there's a shortage of water yeah uh, as you can see at the far end where the guys are just uh, uh, bulking the bricks there yeah, yeah, uh, there's, a there's a there's a, a borehole there yeah, yeah. whereby it contain a very good awesome amount of water there yeah. so in the case we have a shortage of water yeah. we will use machines to pump water into the fish ponds okay. so as we 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 don't suffocate the or we don't give the stress to the fish okay yes we will have the good or some amount of water at the fish pond here now as you calculate the fish bonds that we are we are making up how many fish are we likely to rear in this fish bond uh, this area as you can see yeah the whole the, the, the entire place where the we entire are place, yeah we will have uh, more than 1500 uh, fingerlings yeah uh, that will be purchased yeah or uh, we can just purchase not only fingerlings or we can just purchase the fish which are uh, just uh, uh, around uh, 25 grams yeah uh, which we will be so effective in terms of rearing yeah. whereby because of uh, the temperature that will be just kept a hold here, yeah. we have the bricks here which is uh, constructed by cement. Yeah. So the, uh, we will have uh, some uh, degree Celsius that's coming from this wall, mm. whereby we will have that uh, uh, the Don't temperature. you think that the temperature will be too cold for the fishes to survive in this place? Not only cold, that's why we don't construct downwards. Yeah. So we rely from the down. 
But because what of the wallings? I thought that the wallings could bring more, 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 more temperature of, uh, of, of coldness than, than, than even the mud. But if the temperature will be cold, yeah. it's the upper side will be cold. Yeah. Whereby the upper side we will have around the, from the, the construction of the cement, yeah. we'll have six degrees Celsius at the upper yeah. side of water. Yeah. Whereby the more the levels of water are, we will have the downwards will be zero level. Okay. Whereby they will, in terms of when it's just uh, at the morning or the evening, yeah. late evening, yeah. we will have uh, the coldness whereby they will just chip in yeah. whereby the zero degrees is yeah. so they will just go and relax at the uh, at the surface area out of the pond so with this project yes. how long do you think do you think it will take us to complete the the project and then we put the fingerlings inside it's just a uh, if the construction will just if we are finish. going with this pace we are moving yes with, with this force we are moving yes with, are we able to do it in how many days just one week just one week. One week. So in one week's time, we shall be having the place to be ready. Yes. For the fingerlings to be brought and brought of inside. Of course, yes. So uh, that's why even I'm just here. Mm. I want to tell my boss whereby uh, I have some uh, fish yeah. at the far end where I have uh, some uh, fish farming project. Yeah. Uh, they, are, they are around 25 to 30 grams, yeah. whereby I'll just uh, give an idea yeah. if we can just purchase those ones yeah. so that they, they have that uh, uh, they, they, they have that affinity whereby they have just stayed at this climate. Okay. So they know the climate, how it is, so yeah. they can just survive. Okay. Because if you bring the small ones, yeah. uh, they will just, maybe some will suffocate yeah. or uh, will just go under the stress. Okay. Maybe some will end up dying. So okay. we need the fish which, are, uh, which have just survived at this area, whereby they can just do well here. So they have to be some 20, from 10 grams yeah. to 25 grams. Okay, now yes. as the boss looks forward to do the fish farming, yes. and at your fish bond, I visited there and I saw that you guy actually put cow dung. Yes. But and cow dung, you told me you put in order to prevent predators from coming to the fish bond. Yeah, from from and, direct viewing. Yeah. Yes. Now, but my boss is saying that he wants the waters to be so clear. Yes. Don't you think that the predators are going to be so many here? Okay. Uh, because because of people are just here or all the day or around, yeah. uh, we cannot get uh, predators. By the way, yeah. uh, because uh, predators don't work where people are. Okay. They just uh, chip into your place where they know uh, there is no security apart. There are those birds that come from above, yes. and they normally come direct to the fish. Don't you think they are going to spoil this place because? They will have a big catch because the place will the waters are too transparent. <laughs> uh, uh, let me say this way: yeah. the predators vary. We have uh, some predators uh, by the name uh, uh, the eagles yeah. uh, and some bats, which are just uh, uh, they have a strong filter, uh, uh, which are just uh, so they they can just get into water yeah. and uh, they can just swim and pick yeah. some. Yeah. But uh, in in the they can just go to a place where the the depth of water is just low okay if water depth is just high yeah. they cannot just chip into the water yeah. uh, so even the eagles or um, uh, the are uh, the bigger birds which yeah. are the predators cannot come inside it because they want where water level is just uh, very minimum okay. that's where they can just do well now what about the my boss was saying that he needs to put electricity here at various points along the wall as you can see he has put conduit pipes all along yes. don't you think that the types of light because he wants to put different colors of types of light don't you think they may affect the growth of fish or the the system of aquatic of this visit in the pond the only point yeah. is uh, the electrician should be so punctual in what he's just doing. Yeah. Uh, we don't want uh, to lose all the current uh, and to the water or the shock to the water. Yeah. That's what we're just preventing there. Yeah. If there is a shock, yeah. we bring some harm to uh, the aqua, 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 uh, the fish that we are just uh, rearing here. Yeah. But if the electrician is just efficient in the work, yeah. uh, he will just do his own work whereby here we are just targeting water to reach at this level because so, uh, we want to fill this gap here so that 
hours we can just have zero level there yeah. and we have uh, 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 at there the zero level at so, the end yes yeah. so we want it to be a straight line whereby it's just a uh, hip well yeah. uh, so we need water to reach at this level okay. so if the light will be at this edge level yeah. it will not bring some harm to them because the light will be just lit during the night okay it, yeah because the uh, uh, the fish uh, rely on the daytime. Okay. They feed daytime. They don't feed in during the nighttime. Okay. So the nighttime they're just uh, relaxed or sleeping or just hiding at their harpers. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for your interview pertaining to this aqua farming. Yes. But as I normally say that, ask the experts. They are the ones who can tell you what actually is on the ground. Of course. To yes. me, on the side of fishing, I'm a dwarf. That's why when he came up with the idea that he needs a fish bone. I'd rather advise them that go direct to the farmer who knows, who is an expert on this idea. Yes. This guy here who have I interrogated actually is one of the potential farmers here in Kuria land and he gives most of the devices on fish farming. So guys, you who are watching us from abroad, what is your view? What is your comment pertaining to what actually you want to do? Here what the expert has just explained. What do you think about it? Those who have done aquatic farming, can you tell us, advise us, before we embark or we invest a lot of money on it and then it doesn't work? Kindly subscribe and tell us more, more, more about this fish farming so that we do what actually is good for the village. So we don't want to go at a loss. I tell you, thank you, sir, for taking your time, for listening and trying to talk to my clients so that they may be in, uh, have the knowledge of actually what we are doing. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome guys, as you know, these are the guys who did the pit hole ratlin at the other side where we are going to have camping. And today they are here at the compound of Medellin Villa here, and they are trying to make an upside toilet one which will be used by you, and all those who will be within the compound, they can access the toilet and it will be outside here. We have the chief guy who is trying to make these things because I had my boss calling Mangera. Mangera, can you say hi to my Hi, hello. Yes. Yes, we are here. Yeah. Trying to make the environment clean. Yeah. Make sure that uh, everybody here should be comfortable. Yeah. When you want to visit a private place, yeah. you go there comfortably. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this is the guy who is digging up here. After digging, they are going to assist with the brothers here. And the guy who is leading this squad is the one who has introduced himself here. So if you have any work around this village that you could like to be assisted, just call him because he doesn't the work in a very shortest time and you get your stuff already. So how many days are you going to take it here, my boss, for us to reach the uh, uh for now I think it's three days. He is talking of three days. So by three Sunday days. everything will be ready here, the way it's saying. And you expect this place, I'll start immediately the construction of this thing so that it becomes ready for use. So keep in touch to see what actually we are going to do here. What are the measurements of this toilet? The measurements are the, the length is 60. Yeah, the length is 60. Yeah, and the, and the width is 3 and a half. It's 3 and a half. So he's talking. So he's talking of 6 feet and 3 and a half. That is the length and the width. And then down will go around 15 feet. So it will greatly depend the water table. So if we get the water table, we don't want to disturb it. So that is how much we have prepared. On the outside toilet, we want to make sure that it is here. But don't get scared because this toilet is going even to have washer water that you will wash your hands, you will sanitize yourself after you have used our toilet. So don't take that there are those local toilets of the old days. So the toilets we are making are toilets with water. So that after you use the toilet, it's going to be cleaned up and it is going to remain very clean and safe for you to use. So because we know others may think that we don't observe the hygienic condition, but the hygienic condition, we assure you that we are going to make sure that you get what actually you deserve to have. Thank you so much.
let me take you to the water tank so that you maybe also see what we are going on with there so this is the far end as you can see i'm also approaching towards the water tank and the water tower is there as i described to you i said that the water tower we have got the security section the powerhouse section which is below where we are going to have our generator we are going to have uh, the 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 and other stuffs like oil that is required there and other tools that may be needed. So in the bottom line, we are going to have those things. They are secure for us. Oh, I wish you were here. These are good veggies for you. I only wish you were here because these ones, we buy them. But here they have just grown naturally. You can see they are so delicious, actually. So I wish... My subscribers, you are around. I cook for you this because I could have called the village cook to cook for you this stuff so that you enjoy the green. Here they just grow naturally, as I have shown you. So today here, we also have uh, guys, as you can see, I've done walling to the upper section. And there on top of it, I'm going to put a grill, which will be a window that will help my soldiers to sleep very well and comfortably. As you can see, we have already uh, done a lot of work there. And here on the other side, they are trying to construct it. And that is where they have reached. Actually, you can see by yourself, they are trying to make sure that this place is more secure and everything. So the door will be there and we shall have what we call the spiral stair for somebody to access to the staircase. So that is the place. And you expect the soldier to be there. And then on top of it, we shall have the tanks that are, will be placed. So everything, this place will be utilized three times. Oh, yes. I also intend to show you other things here that are going on. So that you may also get liquidated with what is going on. So today I'm with my driver here. The driver of the bus is known as Gitiriba. Guys. So, Gitriba, can you up, say guys? hi? What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome back to Ayamara Engineer. Yeah. Today is a beautiful day. Yeah. Now, guys, is it almost noon? Ten. Almost, yeah. It's yeah. almost noon. Almost noon. Yeah. So, I am here. I am enjoying life in Villa Medellin. Yeah. So, guys, don't you forget, go to subscribe my Ayamara Engineer. Yeah. Road it to 10,000, guys. Okay. And don't you forget, Gitriba, guys. Yeah. Go to subscribe. Road it to 5,000, guys. Okay. All 10. 10 subscribers. Okay. Engineer. Yo. Today is a manganyo. So the day is so manganyo as you call it normally. <laughs> so what what do you tell us here on the other side? What is happening here? So here everything is going. Is everything going, is going well. Everything is going well on here. Yeah. So you Even can you see, see here. Yeah. Master and the handmaids working. Yeah. Yeah. No problem here, engineer. Okay. So I am waiting the part. Yeah. yeah so you can see the guys down here they are scooping up the water because we want to build up this well so that it becomes finer so they are getting out the mud which was inside so that we start the construction of the place to make beams here but uh, i rely entirely on also your ideas on how we should make it so kindly subscribe comment give views on what should be done so let us also go back here to see at uh, what we are actually doing here and uh, you can see i told you i only construct walls and these beams but fishbone i'm a dwarf so i don't know anything as pertaining to the fishbone so this is what the boss really the test of the boss was that he liked to have a fishbone so i'm just making two structures that can retain water but from there i don't know how he's going to rear the fishbones the expert has told you already what actually is done in the fish farming. So if you have any questions, just ask. And I've tried already today in the morning to talk with him pertaining to matters of mosquitoes. And he has told me that once the dam is, the, the pond is very clear without having any, any grasses growing along it, there is no problem. So this is it. As you can see, this is the source of the water, the spring water. So we have it in this manner. And Osea there is doing plastering work. Hello guys. So today they are with Mr. Mashauri. They are doing a lot 
to make sure that the end meet. So here we are. We are trying to make sure that you guys get the desired thing at the right time. So guys here, things at the villa, people are really working so hard to see that the ends meet. So guys, we are concreting this place to make it sure that it is bound together. And this is the gap between here that also will act as the fish bone. What I know, the other area here, we are going to close it with some uh, soil so that we get off all the grasses growing around here so that we only have water at the other side. So guys, what do you think of this idea of the fish bone? Can you also subscribe? Also, give us comments and comment to my boss what you think the best idea on this uh, on this pond so to me i don't know how it works but i only know how to make a retaining wall to enclose the water so that the waters remain constant and he's saying that he will make it naturally for people to have a view on actually what is going on so this is the far we have gone to the fish bone and as you can see other works are going on very fast here and you are just hearing uh, a lot of chasing going on so keep in touch i'm going to show you actually what is going on thank you so much hello guys i'm here at the smoking zone we baptized this place to be a smoking zone where guys will come here have your puff because we know most people like having that as long as with the environment. Yes. So here we have the Pablo Jr. And today we have deployed another mason to assist them so that they do plastering work. And here is also a young man. Traveler. Yeah, there? Look at the traveler. The traveler, the yeah. traveler is here. <laughs> so this is it what actually they are going. Pablo, can you yes. tell my people uh, I'm something? Pablo Jr. Yeah. And the junior is J and R. You know, engineer, right now, yeah. I'm having a problem whereby uh, the underscore. Yeah. I have to show nowadays I have to show my channel so that the audience can get me clearly. Okay. So that's my channel name. Okay. Yeah, that's is it it's clear there. Yeah. yeah. So that's Pablo Jr. Yeah. So today actually we're trying to make up the plaster, plaster section whereby I come and plastic first and then the mason comes and it keeps skills on to us. Yeah, because yeah. it is supposed to be smooth and yes, level. Yes. So this is the part which I do, and the muscles come and finish it, finish, finish it up in that. Yeah, it's that good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we want good things here to come. To. Now, are you going to put the nylon? Uh, the nylon, no, because we shall tile it. Okay, you are going to put tile. Yes, it's just, it's just man, it just Okay, like that's that. a very good because idea. That's a very good yes, idea. Yes, so here we are proposing to put tiles, but I think tiles are so cold. I don't know where of it, but anyway. I think it is. It will also be fine because that is one of the best way yes. to clean this place. Yes, that course. we can be able to maintain the place to be so much clean mm -hmm. and to be Very something that is it is project. decent yes. before your eyes. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what do you have to comment about this thing? Mm -hmm. Tell us. About Here we decided that we are not going to put the fire chimney. We, shall uh, we are changing it to make it a table. And that should become a smoking zone. Yeah, smoking zone. So once you are there, you yes. just put your cigar there and, then smoke, and smoke, smoke without any problem. I will launch it with <laughs> You will launch it with what? <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Got smokers. Will Gaza be around? <laughs> the Gaza will be around. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's good because also yes. our people have yes. to have it yes, have behind the doors. Yes, of course. So, what about you guys? Can you say hi to my people? Hello guys, hope you're doing good. Welcome to I am Maroes Engineer. Yeah. Here it's Prince James underscore Peace. That's my YouTube channel name, guys. As you can see, the project is ongoing very well. Mm. Today we are clustering the the <coughs> the gazebo. Okay. Yeah. The process is good here. So thank you so much. I see you are doing good job here, yeah. and I hope that uh, it's going to end up before time is elapsed to us. Okay. So that we may be able to detect if there is any problem. I can see a sack here, Pablo. What is the sack meant for? Uh, actually, the sack we propose that we should we should hatch the roof using the grass. Yeah. So these are grasses which can shall be used. Wow. To hatch the roof. Okay. So these are, these are the grass. Remember. Yeah. 
this grass not are not only used in hatching the roof but they also have another purpose yeah. and the purpose of the grass shall come onto my video so if you are curious to get more about this grass yeah come on to Pablo Dina's channel you shall get more okay. about this grass okay. and also we have here the also for size one. yeah the size one is also used to tie this grass in this manner when there is a because uh, these are normally used as ropes yes they are used as ropes so yeah. you know we cannot nail yeah. the grass so yeah. we have to tie it onto certain bunches and then weave it okay okay hole. i know i know yes, so yes. when we reach there actually guys we, we are going to enjoy it. them and see the what actually we normally do and what i'm so happy about is that yeah. uh, the people are giving us our yeah. advices yeah. about yeah. what we should do yeah and uh, what we should take on to the people table what yeah. we should discuss and we take your advice so seriously so if you're watching this kindly i'm so happy of you subscribe to engineer channel you haven't subscribed watch the video till the end remember more videos are containing the outdoor cedars the gazebo you yeah. can come check onto us where by it's pablo jr amasubu and prince james okay thank you so much promise me. yeah we have a lot of organizations uh, around the Mwanse village. And also, maybe even some will be hosted in people's homes. Yeah. You just come. Don't be afraid. Like, huh? Because there, we shall host anybody yeah, who comes. We shall sure. be in a position to know who is going yeah, with this. Going with as long as we have a record. Yeah, you have a record. Yeah, yeah, that somebody, our visitor from somewhere, yeah, somewhere is sleeping, to. is harboring somewhere. Yeah. So thank you guys for taking your time, for taking more, more, more motive of you to make sure that our festival becomes clean. Thank you so much. Hello guys, I'm with one of the villagers who is the next man to Mr. Marwa and here is, as you see, we are watching towards the water tower. So I need to ask him some of the few questions pertaining to the party because these are the people who are hosting you here, just right away here. They are the indigenous people. <laughs> Of the ground. Yes. Okay. Can you identify yourself? Uh, hello, guys. My name is uh, Nasto. Welcome to Engineer Ayamaro Engineer. Kindly, guys, support him. Subscribe. Road to 10k subscribers. And uh, he's really doing an amazing job. Uh, you know, there is work everywhere, left, right, and center. The gate, from the gate to the other corner, to the water tower. I'm really loving the progress. Yeah, you're really doing a good job. You know, I've been here since the beginning. Yeah. And every day when I come, I see a new thing. Like, I was at my place and I was looking at how beautiful this tower is. Oh, so the very, water yeah, tower. The yeah, water tower it's tower. one of very the beautiful. best because yes. I think there, when we shall place the tank, it will just give us what actually we desire. Yeah. So, and it's also crazy. the security man will be sleeping there and he will be in the position of watching yeah, we'll everything the down. Compound. Yeah, the whole compound, right, is working. Now we have a festival ahead of us. Yes. And you are the indigenous people, we call the ma the son of the soil. Yes. <laughs> How prepared are you for this, uh, for this event that is coming ahead of us on 18th to 18th December? Ah, uh, we are prepared. Yeah. Then there was a meeting about security and uh, just getting to the locals to understand because most of the guys here are the one who knows maybe where to buy stuff. So for us, we have promised that uh, wherever anyone can send us, we will deliver. Okay. Yeah. So no one can be like, uh, I want to get maybe some credit from the Bohansi or some bananas. Yeah. And they are like, who do I send? So okay. guys, we are assuring you that we are here to support all of you. Just feel free to just approach anyone, anyone that you feel maybe confident talking to. We have promised we'll uh, be here to avail ourselves and uh, just work with you. And also we'll uh, really urge you like to to understand, you know, we are villagers. Sometimes, you know, maybe city people want things to be done on time, fast, but they can also be flexible a bit. So okay. that maybe, yeah, maybe someone doesn't meet your expectation, okay. but you have to understand maybe it's uh, the background that we have come from, but uh, we have dedicated ourselves to ensuring that the party works uh, and the month becomes very successful. That's why every day you're seeing us here, here updating you on what is going on around the villa. Yeah, and we are learning the process. So have you talked with the fellow YouTubers so that you arrange yourself how you will actually help this guy this very day? Yeah, yeah, we have we have, we have been talking. Yeah. Uh, different people have been uh, assigned different duties yeah. to help. For yeah. example, even in uh, security, maybe lost and found items, yeah. we will be given those items. Yeah. 
yeah, maybe someone needs a uh, urgent medication. Yeah, we have arranged ourselves. And, yeah. uh, we are still going on with the meetings okay. to ensure that uh, there is a good flow and an easy flow. I think our villagers are knowing that we are going to have visitors. Have you had time to talk with them, some of them, to tell them, to enlighten them, so that on the occasion they don't misbehave so much or get themselves that they brag that they are the ones <laughs> who are supposed to be in the front line on the party? Yeah, I think this party is not only for the villagers. Because yeah. uh, even in this compound right now, very many people from different tribes are here. So I think now it's a communal thing. You know, when you say it's uh, for the villagers, maybe yeah. it will bring a bad image. That, yeah. Oh, yeah, once the villagers misbehave, I yeah. think it can be just a community thing so that uh, maybe if you are not from Nyabohansi yeah. and you see someone maybe misbehaving, you'll say, ah, I cannot help because I'm not from uh, this village. What, what I mean is that uh, Nyabohansi people are the ones who must own these festivals. Yeah. Yes. Because, yeah, so been, once they have owned it, yes. then the other who, ca- who creep in yes. will just be following with the footsteps of those guys in Nyabohansi, what they are doing yes. and what they demand to be done on the ground. Yeah. So yeah. that is it. So how do you, have you related well with them so that you enlighten them that we are going to have visitors yeah. and we people, we are the people who should be in front line helping our boy to make sure that he succeeds in his meeting. Yeah, actually I've seen so many people, like uh, right now, even in the Nabuans area, yeah. we've seen so many people are building, yeah. very nice hotels, yeah. people are prepared. So guys, we are at the gate side, the main entrance of the gate, and this is the works that are going on. So as you can see, people are above working. I created this space in order to allow movement of vehicles in and out, and while I work on top. So we are today doing this, and we want to put the whole of it up to the last far end, so that we put concrete for you people to see actually the beauty of our gate. So today we have waked up, and we are really making up our effort to see that this end meets. As you can see, there is a lot of preparation going on. Even on any other corner, there is quite a very big preparation. So the big gate is under construction, and we hope by tomorrow uh, the structural work of casting the concrete shall have finished, and we shall just be remaining with finishing work, which I know it will take the soonest time possible, because everything is already in order. And guys, the welder is doing, the welder that is Duke is doing a lot to see actually that we have come to our conclusion in a very best manner. So guys, what do you think of this gate? Can you give us views, ideas on how we should do it? This is it. And we love it, this gate of ours, because this is going to be one of the gates around this premier area that has not been seen around in any homestead or in any hotel. This will be the only one gate that will be around the locality. Can you give me your views? This is one of the solar lights that has been placed here so that it will be giving light even when the lights are off. People will be using it so that here it will be clear. Also we intend to put others in various places of the gates so that they bring more light as you pass, you are going to enjoy it. Let me take you to the welding. So, 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 so that you may see actually in the welding section what we have done. And guys, this is what they are doing. Can you repeat what you are just doing the other time? <laughs> so this guy, just imagine, this is the ruler he's using. When you go for a Lula in Juakali, they just use the same ruler, a different ruler. And now it's making some alignment so that you may cut the plates. So you can see he has drawn things here. It's the guy who knows actually what he's drawing. This is the guy who works with Duke, the welder here. So Duke, can you say hi to my people? Hello guys. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on wherever you're watching this video from. I'm Fundi Duke. Thanks, engineer, for hosting me in your channel. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see he has made already the door here. This door belongs to where? This door belongs to the gate man's door. So, so there's, uh, there's a gate. We are going to get it at the big gate. This is it. This is the big gate at uh, 
This the, the door is going to be used there for the soldiers' room. Also, we have got uh, here are some tasks that we have made. This where are we going to place this one? Can you tell my people where we're going this to one? place them? Yeah, this one here you see at the it's a tall one. Yeah, the, imagine it's a tall there, one. Yeah, that tower is how is it called? The, oh, the first gate floor. Man's tower. Yeah, yeah. So the first the ground floor. Yeah. This one will be placed like this, yeah. and there will be a mirror. Okay. Running from down up to up to here. Yeah. Okay. So we, what will be seen from outside? Yeah. It's that mirror. Okay. And the mirror will be. So is the mirror? Is it somebody? Is it clear that somebody can see it through, no, or it's are, just one way? When you are outside, you can't see inside. But when you are inside, you can see outside. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is what you are going to come at the gate and meet this one. Also, there are others placed here, doing also the same work. Yeah. And look at the powerhouse. As you have heard from my boss, we need something like that on top of it, having a mirror. And there are some other two things, two windows that you are supposed to create, which are two feet. So kindly make on them, because I want that place to be plastered as, very, uh, as soon as possible. In fact, as from tomorrow or the other day the place should be plastered i'm only giving them two days there to work on that building and finish everything so i think you will work i'm finishing uh, this one today then yeah. tomorrow yeah. i think in the morning yeah i'll start the the other project so as you hear it from duke is determined to finish those things there so thank you so much for having your time for us and i wish you that uh, you continue on keeping the spirit of working and at the well, and so the Alex is trying to empty water outside. But there is a very big challenge because this place is punching so much. So I was thinking that the place could have been easy to work with, but I see there's a very big challenge posing ahead of me because this place is too muddy and the soil keeps on punching itself to the inside the well. So as you can see, there's water, but I don't know how it provides, I don't know how it make it run. But I'm of the opinion that uh, this place could not work all that very much. Unless I build up gardens around. What is your view as pertaining to that? What should I do? Do I build gardens or I do the clay? What could be the best? For this place so that we may work with it to see whether it can work with it. thank you so much so guys this is how we are putting the particles here and we are just making a part first of all before we do any other ones what do you think about it we are putting these stones then after we are going to congregate this place we're going to place concrete in order to provide a smooth surface for somebody to pass on and on the other side, on the side of the fishbone, we are constructing up a beam that will be able to carry the log. Because as you know, from below here, as you see, you are not going to place anything. The wall will be flying above the beam. So that will create a lot of mud towards outside to create a hatchery way where fishers will be running in and enjoying themselves. So this is where the wall is going to creep up just i think some few meters and then uh, in between it is where the fish bone will be so guys as you can see we are on the race actually to see that this place has made the standard which we require and guys are walking up and down to see that this place meets the course or meets the end as it is specified so you can see there's a lot of works going on here and on the other side the, the splattering going on here and on the side of the beam they want to put concrete on it so this is the far corner of the building where the fish pond will be there laying just there so as you can see we have got a lot of water streaming out but we are just only controlling it to give us time to work on so that we open up this place for the a fish uh, rearing here. So this is the progress of the works inside this compound. I don't know what will be your opinion because I told you earlier that 
and matters about rearing fish I don't understand. So this is a new idea and since the boss came up with the idea I had on, no option other than to make him a wall that will retain this place to make this place to be more 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 secure for the fishes. So this is what I'm doing and I'm actually trying to make this place to be better. So in between here we are just being placed mud, even at the other side we just place soil and so soil there will be water in between here so that's how the fishbone is being created here. I asked you earlier to give us your opinions as pertaining to this project. Do you think it is viable? May you tell us what you think about this project. So as we go down this is what has been done. According to the conduits, they are above the level where water is going to reach. So you can see there is a lot of flow of water going down. Yeah, water is flowing. There is a lot of water flowing out because we have created and opened up a channel where it will be passing. So this is what entirely is going around this pillar. And we are trying to make the end smith has the boat. Uh, likes it. So this is the idea typically of the boss that he needs a fishbone and those who have done it may advise us on how actually it is done. In these other areas we have got clustering going on and this is how they have done it in the course of today and we look forward for other works to be done here. So what are your views? Kindly subscribe and tell us what you think about this place known as the fishbowl. I showed you the expert who is behind it. Do you think we can make this place be a fishbowl? Or you think what we are doing can result out to be just something that cannot work? Kindly subscribe and then tell me the, your views so that I may also think of them and then post them to my post, post so that we salute out to see what actually we can do. Welcome so much. I'm going to show you other works that are going on in progress and I know you are going to enjoy. Be free, most welcome, because as you know, this project is for us all. As a family of YouTube, we need to get in touch in everything that we do so that you also give us your ideas and views so that we may work to see that actually we succeed in whatever we are doing. This is how we are doing it here. Let me have your views pertaining to how do you see this project? Is it viable? Is it worth? Can it really make what we are expecting to have here? Because there's a lot of work going around the compound at these rush hours. So guys, tell me what you think of 